And God teaches us in his word four types of giving. And when we understand those four types of giving, then we'll understand why we need to do different types of giving for different types of results. The four types of giving, I'll tell them real quickly. The four types of giving are tithe, first fruits, alms, and seed. Okay? The first one, tithe, that one everybody's heard. Okay? Tithe means tenth. The first 10% of everything that comes into my hands already was God's property before I received it. It's not like that I'm generous when I give 10% of my income to God. I'm just being honest, okay? Um, uh, God does not get all giddy when I give him that 10% of my income. He just says, oh, you're not a thief. Good. <laughs> and, and I have people say, do I tithe on the net or the gross? I'm like, do you want a net blessing or a gross blessing? Right. You know, that's up to you. Yeah. But, but the tithe is the basics. That is the beginning of our giving. And, you know, when you think about it, if the tithe really is God's property, he owns it before you ever see it. Before you receive your paycheck from your boss, now he already took out the government's part, but he hands you your part and God's part. If we understand that, if we truly, truly understand that that is God's money, then we understand that God could have said, give me that money or I'm going to hurt you. You know, he could have just said, give me the 10% or I'm going to send somebody over to your house. <laughs> but, he didn't. but instead, he says, if you will give the first 10% of your income to me, I will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you can't contain, and I'll rebuke the devourer for your sakes. Now, there's a couple of things there. One thing, first of all, let's deal with rebuking the devourer. I don't care how much money you make, the devourer can eat it up faster than you can make it. And if you don't have someone rebuking the devourer, you're in trouble. I have, I have people tell me, well, and, and when we get to the part on, on seed, which is the fourth type, they'll say, well, since seed has the largest return, I'm going to skip tithing and all the rest of them go straight to seed. You try to do seed without doing tithe, you make a big harvest, but it gets devoured hmm. because you don't have anyone to rebuke the devourer for you. Okay, but the second thing, and it's actually the first in that verse, is that God says he'll open the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing we can't contain. Think about it. How big would the windows of heaven be? Would they be the, the size of this building? No, they'd be bigger than this. Would it be the size of Canada, which is enormous? No, it'd be bigger than that. Size of North America? Bigger than that. I mean, the windows of heaven are enormous. And look at what God says. God says, if you will open this, he will open that. That is amazing that he says that. And if I give God that money that already was his property, he doesn't just say thank you, he rewards me abundantly. 